go. So we're here today at the Occupy Youngstown, Occupy Warren Greenhouse, part of the Occupy Garden Project, uh, linked together with the Food Not Bombs program, where we feed people um, basically at the bus station downtown in Youngstown. Uh, I wanted to show you some of the things about the greenhouse today. Maybe you'll get some ideas for yourself. We try to do as much off-grid with this project as we can. If you take a look up on the roof, you'll see a solar panel. Uh, that's one of several solar panels available to this house that uh, generates the electricity for the things that we need. It provides us with our pump for the water system and it provides us with the electricity for the lights. As much as we can, you can see here in this garden bed, we use recycled materials, uh, repurposed materials, and um, the, the, the two by fours came from a community garden that they didn't want to use anymore. The manure that's in there is free a donation from a farm out in a, a neighboring uh, rural community. The plants that you see in here, the tomatoes, uh, were recycled, reused uh, from a, a garden project where they were just showing them to say, this is what a tomato plant looks like. We brought them here. Same thing with the greens and the lettuce. Um, in the back there, you can see raspberries. Those raspberries are from uh, a donation. So we're gonna generate vegetables and berries and fruits uh, in this garden project. And anybody who walks down the street, any of my neighbors knows, it's theirs if they want it. So that's kind of like peppers and greens and um, berries. And on the other side, we have our peppers. And you'll see more peppers inside of the greenhouse when we go in there. This is the greenhouse. You can see that there's some large windows that are opened. Uh, those are so that the pollinators can get in and um, pollinate the plants that are flowering in there now. What this was, was um, when I got the house, it was a uh, patio enclosure that had crashed and um, we rebuilt the roof and turned it into a, a greenhouse. So let's go inside now and let's take a look at the greenhouse and see some of the things we've got going there. Everything that we use is donated. This, by the way, in the back of the pickup truck, is a project where we're taking 200 different pepper plants over to a community garden uh, on the east side where they're going to uh, grow their own peppers and process them for people. Um, all of this, again, donated materials, donated plants uh, for a project to feed people. The wood chips were donated. We use those for mulching on our uh, path at the community garden and we're going to do that around the berries here. Um, we rebuilt this part of the roof so that we had a covered area. And then if you come into the garden itself, uh, the greenhouse itself, you'll see the roof is glass. And so we have a perfect greenhouse. Um, the temperature outside today is about 75 degrees. The temperature in here today is about 95 degrees. And so you can see there's a significant heat difference. Um, take a look over here. These are part of the 200 pepper plants that were donated to us. We took them from the small maybe inch peppers and put them into containers We fill them up with the horse um, this is horse and horse manure and sawdust material it's a perfect growing medium and it's completely sanitary because it's been uh, in the field for five years uh, stabilizing um, so we got that donated the tomato plants uh, these tomato plants were thrown away by uh, a local garden apparently they had a sale this is what was left and they just tossed them into their compost pile. Occupy regularly raids dumpsters and, and compost piles to get materials for their project. So tomatoes, peppers, this is a weed um, called lamb squatter. Uh, part me for eating, but it's part of the gig. A weed is delicious. And I understand it's more nutritious than spinach is. Lettuce in a gutter. Our, well, our mind about lettuce is certainly in the gutter. We harvest this on a regular basis and uh, solar lighting. These are part of the independent solar lamps. We also have solar lighting inside the house. And one last thing I want to show you, I know we're running out of time on the video, is a 12 volt water system. Pump from barrels outside. Push the button and just wait for the water to come. The pipe is empty and that's why it gurgles a little bit. Free water. No, no electricity used, no city water used, and it's healthier, healthier for the plants because it's fertile water. How about that? The off-grid um, 
Occupy Warren, Occupy Youngstown Greenhouse as part of the Garden Project and the Food Not Bombs Project. And so Fantastic. there you have it. Thank you, Randy. Thank now you very welcome. much. And we will look forward to the next installment next week. Oh, sure. We'll talk about something else. Like maybe we'll show you how the solar panel links up with the electrical system of the house and maybe how we do the off-grid water system. That'd we'll be fun. Forward. We'll look forward to that. All right, dude. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.